So the Dallas Cowboys just made one of the weirdest but most genius trades ever, and boy did it shake up the future of this team and even the present of it. In this video, I'm going to talk about what the Cowboys acquiring Trey Lance means for Dak, and also what the outlook is for this Dallas team as we quickly start to approach week 1. Before I begin, I would really appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe. It only takes 5 seconds, plus you can always change your mind. I'm on the road to 20k subscribers and your support truly means the world. Alright, so starting off with Dak, I've said this in so many previous videos before, so I'm going to keep it short, but his talent is just through the roof and it sucks that he's in the position that he's in because he's the guy that everyone thought would lead this team to the promised land and although the ride's not over yet he just is way too turnover happy and just has a knack for throwing interceptions but at the same time he did put up some good numbers so this will be a very interesting year and really all anyone cares about is the postseason Dak could put up the greatest regular season of all time but if he goes into round one of the playoffs and throws three picks then his time is done and Lance will take over and I honestly like the upside that Lance has so much and once it becomes his time to be a starter, he's never gonna look back. And even while he's still behind Dak for now, this trade is a reset and according to Lance himself, it's a breath of fresh air. And for the 49ers, I don't like this trade at all, and I don't understand what they were doing. But I guess they just really believe in Brock Purdy, which is fine, but boy did they pay a high price for Lance and just gave him away for nothing. But yeah, getting back on track to the Cowboys, I've said this way too many times, but this is a big make or break year for them, and how this season goes will have a huge impact on how they build for the future. But besides all that, I don't want to only talk about the comparison trap of Dak and Lance because they're now teammates and they have a special receiving group to throw to after Dallas added Brandon Cooks to the mix from Houston, which will definitely help CD Lamb out a ton as well. I'm also very excited to see what the backfield looks like for this team as well because coming into the offseason, everyone thought that Tony Pollard had the backfield completely to himself, which is still sort of true, but Deuce Vaughn has really put himself onto the map and I made a whole video about him, so make sure to check that out after this one. Anyways, in recap, this is a big year for the Cowboys, and they have many questions, but they also have so much hype and expectation to live up to, and they gotta do it when it matters, not just in the regular season. And it's definitely gonna be interesting to see what things look like with Mike McCarthy taking over the play calling. I don't really have much more to say, I know this was a super short video, but I just wanted to talk about the trade, because we really can't say anything about this team until we see it on the field. Thank you all so much for watching, let me know what you would like to see next, and until then, I will see you all later.